Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <coughs> Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will begin the subseries of garbage collection in Java and we will start with an important aspect of garbage collection which is non-determinism. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen. Warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een, Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Fil alameen, innaka hamidun majeed. We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. There are two types of automata uh, because of the scope of this lecture, we will limit the definitions that arise within this lecture, mainly because automata, automata is the plural for automaton. That is singular. If you remove the on as the suffix and add a instead, you have automata, hence the game near automata. It is a reference to this. <coughs> So we will not discuss or delve into the definition or the description of the automaton and we will not delve deeply into the two different types of the automaton. <clears throat> I am merely listing or mentioning them as part of trivial knowledge if you would like to know about them. Uh, 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 or rather for you to be aware of them if you would like to learn further you can wait until I create the lectures for designing compilers however those will probably be in the far future because I am prioritizing the uh, the Java tutorial in Arabic then C and C++ and also uh, Maybe not C sharp, but JavaScript, because I wish to create a, a, a tutorial for Angular, which is an amazing framework, even though it is created by a terrible company. But it is an amazing framework. Uh, uh, the word of truth must be must be spoken. So <laughs> it is an amazing framework. So the design for compilers might come at a later date. I do not know when, inshallah bi'ithnillah, but I do have it on my list. So I will try my best to explain these briefly so that you are aware of what to expect when we discuss this portion. The automaton is a form of ab abstraction to determine how the computer reacts or not the computer, the programming language itself, which uses the computer indirectly or directly, how the computer or the compiler or the programming language reacts to different inputs, and where does it direct the certain outputs from that input. It directs them to different states, also known as quanta or quantum, as a singular. So that is basically what an automaton is without delving too deeply into details. And there are two types. One is known as non-deterministic automaton, abbreviated to NFA. 
I always call it FDA accidentally so <laughs> because I am more accustomed to that uh, abbreviation than this one. And since we have none deterministic, the other one is, uh, sorry, see, I wrote it incorrectly. Uh, it is uh, apologies for that I had to respond to an urgent message okay now I have returned so NFA is correct I just forgot the F which is finite like so non-deterministic finite automaton and we will repeat the same but this time for the second one that is this time it will be deterministic finite automaton and instead of nfa it will be dfa like so as a general rule <clears throat> uh, non-deterministic finite can be deterministic or can become deterministic or can be converted to deterministic but deterministic cannot be converted or cannot become non-deterministic so it is a one-way trip as they say so I will draw an arrow here in case you are interested in that if not ignore it now that we have mentioned this, we will mention the disadvantage of the non-deterministic approach compared to the deterministic approach. The disadvantage of this approach is that it decreases performance. That is the issue with it, which is why the deterministic approach is preferred because it enhances performance at, a, at the cost of memory whereas this it does it uh, decreases performance but at the cost of greater memory so the problem with non-determinism is that it lowers performance which means that the program that relies on non-determinism will, will not run as efficiently as you would like it. Nothing is perfect after all, there will always be limitations and drawbacks, which is why multiple programming languages exist. Uh, as an example, because of Java's limitation, sometimes, though it is quite rare, we will need to use the JNI to program in C or C++ simply to overcome the limitations of Java. Or we could completely ignore Java and move to C Sharp, which is basically Microsoft's version of Java, which is also the language used in the Unity gaming engine, if you are interested in game development, that is. I do have advice for game developers, but we can leave that for another time. Now that we know that non-determinism lowers performance, you can infer what to expect from the title here. The garbage collector in Java relies on this algorithm, the non-deterministic algorithm. So here we can say that the garbage collector in Java is non-deterministic. And from the title or from the name, linguistically speaking, it means that the garbage collector is, has not been determined which means what? You cannot determine when the garbage collector activates or when it begins its process. It is non-deterministic. You can think of it as a ran uh, it starts randomly. However, there, 
Rand uh, randomness does not exist in reality. Randomness does not exist. Everything that happens is fated to happen. It is determined to happen. So randomness does not exist, which is why I do not wish to call it uh, randomization because it does not exist. Otherwise, uh, Darwinism would be true if randomness did exist. <laughs> Anyways, so what does that mean? It means that developers cannot determine when the garbage collector starts its process, uh, which is memory management. Remember, we mentioned that it is automatic. It is done for you as opposed to C and C++, where you have to intervene manually. The garbage collector handles everything for you automatically. And as we mentioned, it is called memory management, basically allocation and deallocation. Well, not allocation really, but deallocation, the removal of objects from memory. The compiler allocates the objects for you in memory. Now, because it cannot be determined, it sometimes leads to performance issues with regards to Java applications. That is why uh, if you were living in the day where games on phones, cellular phones were designed in Java, they were notorious for being slow. Why? Because Java is a slow language because of multiple factors. One of them is the Java garbage collector. It reduces the performance or the efficiency of the execution of a Java program. Hence why Java applications are slow. Again, it is not the only contributive factor. There are other factors such as dynamic linking and the JIT compiler, as we discussed. So that is why Java is not normally used for game development because game development relies heavily on increasing performance rather than decreasing performance. So it is uh, uh, normally Java is used for back end development, though you can create games in Java, if they are designed in a particular manner, you can avoid this or instead of avoiding it, you can alleviate it to a degree, but you can design games in Java. So uh, was there anything else just in case I forgot, cannot determine when the garbage collector starts its process or many me any, uh, memory management. Ah, now I remember. You may ask the question, well, Muhammad, we have this method, system.gc, which stands for garbage collection. Does that not trigger the garbage collector manually? It may and it may not. Again, because it is non-deterministic. So, when you call this method in your code, the garbage collector could be starting its process before that line. So when it when the compiler reaches that line, it will not trigger it because the garbage collector finished its job already. Or it could start it, but it has to match the cycle of garbage collection or the compiler could skip this because the garbage collector just finished its cycle immediately before this line and it will start a new cycle after this line. So this method uh, is unreliable. You cannot trust that it will force the garbage collector to actually initiate the process of collection. Why? Again, because the garbage collector is non-deterministic. 
it it activates based on its own algorithm not based on what the developer wants so the performance of the program is in the hands of the garbage collector not in the hands of the developer as opposed to c and c plus plus where the developer controls garbage collection manually you do not need to know about this if you do not wish to 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 know about it uh, but i thought it would be an important uh, piece of information to know about garbage collection before we actually start garbage collection. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid.